Hey everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at y'all with a pretty fun video today doing a manufacturer review of one of my favorite manufacturers, Desert Tech. Started back in 2007 as Desert Tactical Arms, rebranded in 2013, Desert Tech, and their motto is Tomorrow's Weapons. All of the firearms that they've been producing since 2018 are now bullpup configurations, and let's start off with the HTI, otherwise known as the Hard Target Interdiction Rifle. This guy is chambered in a multiple to different chamberings which is really cool and something that they have going for them in all of their different platforms so like the hti you see here and just like the mdrx the srs that we'll talk about here in just a moment all of it is modular and you can switch out the calibers on all of them which is pretty cool the one we have right here is 50 bmg it is a bullpup design bolt action 50 cal rifle which i think is just super sweet we gave away one of these not too long ago the all black model and uh, i had a pretty good time doing a running like run and gun drill with one of these guys. So go check that video out if you're curious to see this guy in some action. Anyway, you can also get these chambered in 375 shy tac 408 shy tac and a couple of others that I can't remember right now. But really neat that they have one platform and it's super easy to put together. It comes with everything that you need. The chassis is sold as one set, the barrel assembly and the bolt and the magazine are all sold as a different set. And installing them, it's, it's real easy. It comes with, the HDI actually comes with a torque wrench that's already set to I think 80 foot pounds is what the, all of these that you see right here need to be set to. You just simply drop the barrel in, lock it into the position here, and then tighten down all of these to the already preset foot pounds and you are ready to rock and roll. Pretty cool stuff. Also too, just assembling the gun again, right back here on the butt pad, you have this little tab you pull and this will rotate the actual pad out of the way. And then you can just simply remove the bolt. And there is your 50 cal bolt on this guy here. Now having actually shot and put quite a few rounds down range with one of these guys here, I've got to tell y'all, I am impressed. This thing runs great. It's fun to shoot, easy to maintain, and feels awesome to shoot. With it being a bullpup, which means the entire loading, the extracting, firing sequence is taking place behind the trigger group, having shooting it and even standing up with all of this weight actually closer to your body, unlike a M82 Barrett, it's pretty, pretty easy to manage. Especially whenever you have this four chamber brake right up here, it's blowing all of those gases out to the side, recoils nice and light felt for a 50 cal, uh, but ultimately a really neat design. Now with that being said, let's go to something a little bit more compact and semi-auto instead of bolt action like the HTI. Next up is the MDRX, the Microdynamic Rifle Extreme. That's what the X stands for. Uh, it's pretty much the upgraded version from the MDR, and let's just go ahead and hop right into it. First off, again, another semi-auto bullpup design. Again, Desert Tech making all their newer firearms, all bullpups, really cool. This guy is chambered in 5.56, 223 Wild, uh, 308 NATO, 7.62 by 51, uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, pretty much everything you could ever ask for, and 300 Blackout, pretty sweet if you ask me. Again, it being a bullpup design, magazine is held right back here, takes your standard AR mags, very cool, and a complete ambi design on this gun. So even your charging handle, right here, right hand or left hand, non-reciprocating, awesome. Also to your safety selector, it's found right here on both sides, short, short throw, little 45 degree boy, pretty sweet. Mag release is also found right here, nice texture on that guy, and also found right back here. You've also got, if you wanted to do a little bit more of a, uh, you know, instead of just dropping this guy free and letting it hit the floor, you can either do this number and catch it kind of like you would with an AR, or if you wanted to retain the mag a little bit easier, there's also a mag release button just forward of the mag well right here. You push that guy and that just drops free for you. Once you insert your new mag, boom, your thumb is already right here where the bolt release is. So if this guy's locked back, you insert new mag, all you have to do is hit this button, little tab that sticks out right here, sends the bolt home, you're ready to rock and roll. Overall, this thing is just super cool. And of course, all of the different caliber configurations. Also, very neat, we, uh, I've taken this guy to the range a lot. I've had a lot of times, a uh, lot of time throwing lead down range with it. And something I found to be very neat is the extraction on this guy. 
You'll see right here, that's your uh, dust cover for your ejection port, and it actually shoots the brass forward and away from the shooter, which is pretty cool. Now you can keep it there if you want, but actually there's a little tab right here. You just push that guy, and you can actually just swip this or swap this to the other side, and now it's ejecting on the left-hand side of the gun. Again, a complete ambidextrous firearm. No tools required to do that. I actually did that in a range video one day, uh, shooting this guy, and had a lot of fun doing it. So Desert Tech just keeps coming out with all sorts of neat things. And uh, one of those neat things, which is brand new for this year, is the Micron. So uh, it's pretty much the same gun that has just been left in the dryer too long, as Alec likes to say. In fact, hold on, let me just grab it. Where'd I put it? There it is. So little, I can almost lose it. But uh, no, this guy right here is awesome. So it is an MDRX, as you can see. The grips line up, the stock still, all of that still lines up just as you see here. But what the actual Micron is, is the conversion kit into a short barreled rifle with an 11 and a half inch barrel. Whew, this thing is awesome, guys. Look at it. So they are claiming that this is the world's shortest rifle. And I think Desert Tech, I think you might be able to do a little bit better. Chamber this guy in 300 blackout with a nine inch barrel. That's, that's all I'm saying. I think that would be the ideal compact boy all day long. I would love that. But hey, we're gonna have a video all about this guy coming out very soon, so stay tuned. This one here chambered in 5.56, just like this guy right here, but obviously just a, a little short boy, right? So very cool. Still has all the same features as the other one does, just overall a really neat gun. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and bring out the SRS, another bolt action bullpup. And last up for Desert Tech Manufacturer Review, we've got pretty much the HTI uh, that shrunk. <laughs> so this is the SRS, the Stealth Recon Scout, and it is a neat little firearm. So first off, you're chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, 308. Uh, this one specifically is chambered in 308. And if you want to have that bolt action type of rifle, but in a little bit more compact design and bullpup, you've got it right here. Again, it's modular. You can remove the barrel simply by removing these barrel nuts here, or actually just loosening them up. Guy pulls out and then you're able to slide in whatever other caliber that you want in here and then replace the bolt. Really neat firearm. I really do love the triggers on all of these guns too. I think that's something I forgot to talk about. All the triggers on all of these guns are pretty freaking nice, all right? so. Again, I am a huge fan of Desert Tech, their modularity. Again, their uh, motto, tomorrow's weapons, I totally see that. A lot of their stuff is innovative and they're just all around a futuristic type of company. And I'm excited to see what else they can come out with very soon. And I'm excited to head to the range with that Micron and do a whole video review on that guy. Um, the only, I guess I could say as far as criticism goes, uh, is what you would find with a lot of bolt action type rifles is a little bit of a break in. I noticed that sometimes the bolt on this guy, I mean, it's super smooth, as you can tell, but when I first got it, I feel like I need to kind of like just dig it in a little bit, and they even recommend that, you know, actually apply some force against the bolt and start actually rubbing this guy down, and actually if I oiled it up, it'd probably be good. Actually, if I took it out and shot it more, it'd probably be good. So again, just an awesome company making some awesome guns. <sighs> And I'm ready, so ready to go shoot that Micron. So be looking out for that video very soon. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is another bullpup, our current giveaway. This guy right here, the Steyr Aug A3. This is the optics ready model that we're giving away, but it is coming with an optic. It's coming with the Trigicon MRO and the 3X, or the three power magnifier with it that flips off to the side, really cool little thing. And then of course the Enforce WMLX light and talk about a neat gun. Uh, first off, the Trigicon MRO is a great, great optic. Love shooting it. And the fact that this thing can just, it's so ergonomic. It feels great. Also, um, I haven't learned this the hard way yet. I don't recommend probably shooting it this way uh, because I like to do that little C-clamp type of method when shooting and that's the barrel. So as you can imagine, that would get spicy and my thumb would hurt. So anyway, hold it like a broomstick, go do some work with the Styrog, get your entries in at classicfirearms.com. One of those entry methods is through a secret word. It's not so much a secret. A lot of you guys just drop it down in the comment section, so whatever. But anyway, this one's pretty simple. Three letters, AUG, A-U-G. Good luck, get those entries in. God bless you guys, and we'll see y'all next time at classicfirearms.com.